you think he's being targeted or some of the stuff he's got, you know, there's credibility on what they're coming after him with the tapes and the feds and rating his Miami home, his L.A. home? You think he's being targeted or some of the stuff he's got, you know, there's credibility on what they're coming after him with the tapes and the feds and rating his Miami home, his L.A. home. Oh, I believe he's being targeted. You believe he's being targeted. Yeah. Yeah, I believe you know somebody you know has the power to pull the trigger to make you know this stuff, this domino effect happened. So we finally got some explosive revelations from Ice Cube about Diddy and the ongoing feud. It appears that his P-Cube has some insider information that could turn this entire case on its head. Puff Daddy to me is like an um, what's them fellas who run the three ring? Circuits. The person that comes out. And you know what I mean. Ringmaster, suppose I guess he the ringmaster because you know he'd do it big and he always put on the show. Therefore, Puffy is the ringmaster of hip-hop. If you've been following this story, you know that Diddy has been in a lot of difficulties since last November. He's been caught in legal problems. It all started when Cassie made their status public, which led to a series of serious charges against him in the months following Diddy's properties being raided by Homeland Security. These raids weren't just isolated incidents. They were part of a federal investigation into his activities. But it doesn't stop there. The feds have been relentless. And there's even talk of a potential grand jury indict. This would be a major escalation, signaling that the authorities believe they have enough evidence to bring formal charges against Diddy with so much at stake. It's no wonder that. Rumors and theories are flying around, including some interesting claims from Ice Cube himself. And you know, I'm not the partying type. You know what I mean? I ain't never been to a Diddy party. Ain't never really wanted to go, but I don't go to a lot of people. Parties, you know that just ain't what I'm any for, you know. I, you've been the one you've been to him, are you? Surprised at what, what things are coming out with Diddy at all. Are you like, you have no idea, it's none of my business. You'll live long, that kind of like the mindset. Um, um, according to Ice Cube, Diddy is being targeted by some very powerful people. He claims that the investigation and raids are part of a larger conspiracy to make Diddy the fall guy for others' wrongdoing. But why would anyone want to set Diddy up? It's interesting to think about, but Ice Cube isn't alone in his thoughts. Candace Owens has also spoken on the subject, and her opinion adds another depth to the story following the Homeland Security raid on Diddy's residences. Candace stated that the raid was not about discovering evidence, but rather about hiding it. She feels that the government already knew what Diddy was doing and that he is being used as a scapegoat to protect more powerful persons. According to her, the raid was orchestrated to cover up the involvement of these HIUs, ensuring they remain untouchable. While Diddy takes the blame to of this ring, potentially is Sir Lucian Gra. He is the CEO of Universal Music Group. He is also being sued. He is also being named as well as Universal Music Group. And he is, as a fact, one of the most powerful men in Hollywood. He runs Universal Music Group, which is huge. Rodney, the producer, is alleging that when Lucian Eddie alleges that these two along with other important persons in Hollywood, are behind the plot. He suggests that the raid on Diddy's house was carefully planned to retrieve tapes that Diddy allegedly had in his possession. These tapes supposedly contain evidence of the misdeeds of these powerful figures, and the raid was a means to recover them before they could be used against anyone else they sacrificed and did they, they said. You got to take this cause, we ain't we, we, we can't be involved, but Diddy smart. He filmed Session Freak Boy that run a universal music group, so he got tapes now. That's why they raiding the house, because they got friends in Homeland Security and the feds. And they said, get, get there and get them tapes from this, trying to blackmail us. That's what I believe is going on. Eddie Griffin elaborates that, that this setup was orchestrated by Universal Music Group, who even funded the operation to protect their interests, according to Eddie Clive Davis and LG Realize that Diddy had compromising material on them and orchestrated the raid to retrieve these tapes. This theory suggests that the true motive behind the raid was to protect the reputations and careers of these influential people, rather than to uncover Diddy's wrongdoings. Adding to the complexity of the situation is a lawsuit filed by Lil Rod, which provides detailed allegations against LG and Universal Music Group. The lawsuit accuses them of assisting and protecting Diddy's alleged illegal activities. It claims that LG and UN were involved in Diddy's operations, including concealing large sums of money and failing to report these transactions to the federal government. According to the lawsuit, LG and Yum took several steps to support Diddy's venture. They allegedly provided financial backing and logistical support, which were crucial for the continuation of these activities. 
The court documents additionally alleged that LG and Un benefited financially from Diddy's activities and took deliberate measures to protect him in the operation, such as concealing up evidence and using their power to prevent inquiries from reaching higher levels within their firms. The complaint depicts a network of powerful persons and groups working together to defend their interests, even if it meant throwing Diddy under the bus. Diddy, you're hearing Diddy everywhere. Okay, so did you ever have any kind of running with Diddy? Did you ever do anything with Diddy? Any projects you worked on with him? He produced a few records or had his O producers do a few records on my Amor in Peace album, The Peace Disc. Yeah, how was he to work with? It was cool because he, oh, you know, gave us great music. We flew out to New York, and I was mainly in the studio with the producer. You know, he had a stable of producers. So I was in the Ice Cube has known Diddy since the 90s, when both were carving their paths in the music industry. They had a decent relationship during those early days, often crossing paths in the vibrant hip-hop scene. However, Ice Cube mentions that they began to drift apart around 1994. This separation in their professional and personal lives coincided with the period when he first faced significant legal troubles, including assault case in a recent interview. Ice Cube talked about how their past diverged and how he witnessed changes in Diddy's conduct and relationships. He emphasized that while they were cool back then, their lives and careers took different paths. Ice Cube stated that he was never really a part of Diddy's inner circle, especially avoiding Diddy's freak-off parties. This distance gave Ice Cube a different perspective on the controversy surrounding Diddy. When asked about Diddy's legal issues and the federal investigation, Ice Cube expressed his belief that Diddy is being targeted. He suggests that while Diddy may have weaknesses and has been involved in questionable activities, there are powerful forces at place aiming to make Diddy a scapegoat. According to Ice Cube, the length and intensity of the legal efforts against Diddy appear disproportionate, implying a broader conspiracy. You believe he is being targeted. Therefore, you don't think, um, oh, oh, you know, Shook said, you can say what you want about Diddy. But Diddy didn't learn to like young boys. He learned it from a man named Clive Davis. He threw Clive. Davidson, there you, you, it doesn't sound like you're part of that camp. You're part of the camp that you think he's being targeted. You know, I don't. I don't know enough to even be able to um, be specific on any of this stuff. It's just all speculation. I just know he was cool up until a point, and then the stuff started happening, according to Ice Cube and other sources. Clive Davis's name has regularly come up in discussions about Diddy issues. Clive Davis played an important role in Diddy's career and may have had a negative influence on his conduct and decisions. In one of his statements, Ice Cube implied that Clive's mentorship and relationship with Diddy may have steered him into some of the terrible problems he is now facing. Ice Cube suggested that Diddy did not come to his controversial lifestyle and choices on his own, but rather learned them from someone influential in the industry. Clive Davis, a legendary figure in the music industry, has been pointed out by Ice Cube as a potential influence on Diddy's behavior. But he also has a boss, 